Hello, and welcome to your November Investor Update. I'm James McManus, Chief Investment Officer at Nutmeg, and I'll be discussing the outlook for markets and the changes we made in October to increase equity exposure in our managed portfolios. The last few months have been challenging for investors. Do you think the outlook could become more positive? Well, that's an interesting one, and I would say yes. Um, markets have been volatile since the summer, partly because in some regions, economic growth has actually been much better than expected. Now, at the beginning of the year, investors and central banks thought that we would head into a recession, but that hasn't materialized. Western economies have remained relatively resilient, particularly in the United States. Job markets have remained strong, uh, and households have continued to spend despite inflation and the cost of living crisis. And now with interest rates high, bond yields too have risen, which puts pressure on equity markets. And that explains some of the volatility that we've seen in recent months. But within equity markets, earnings momentum is positive uh, after several quarters of decline. This and the strength of the economy are two reasons for investors to be optimistic about the next few years. You made some changes to the portfolios in October. Can you talk us through them? Yes. Well, last month, our investment committee increased equity exposure across our managed portfolios, and we did that for several reasons. Uh, the first is that we think central banks have finished raising interest rates as they see progress on inflation. Now, that should be good for equities as rate rises can damage equity valuations. Secondly, equity earnings themselves are looking more positive. If we look at the all-important US equity market, in the current earnings season, growth is about 7% better than expected, with around half of the companies reported. And third, we're positive about the economic environment overall. We think the outlook for manufacturing and global trade could improve over the next 12 months, which would both provide a tailwind for company earnings. What would you say to investors who may have found this year difficult or perhaps disappointing? Well, it's a good question, and experiencing negative returns is always unpleasant. Even for professional investors, losses are uncomfortable. And in the past 18 months, we've certainly had a challenging environment. Bond markets have witnessed a once-in-a-generation move as governments have fought inflation in the aftermath of twin shocks, the COVID pandemic, and the invasion of Ukraine. But critically, what matters for investors is the outlook from here. And we believe the prospects are more positive. Yields on 10-year government bonds have not been this high since 2008. Western central banks have now paused their interest rate rises, and major Western economies are actually proving to be much stronger than expected. Um, you marry that with uh, a more favorable outlook for equities, as we've discussed, and after a difficult period for returns, several factors are coming together to improve the outlook for investors. As always, thanks for watching. We'll continue to keep you updated via our regular blogs, the monthly investor update, as well as our view from the investment desk videos. If you have any questions or suggestions for a topic you'd like us to discuss in next month's investor update, you can contact us via social media, email, or in the comments section below this video.